something. Yes, and 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 as Anna said, I would tell him, please be mindful of those UDP supporters who went with you to form the NPP. Don't let them regret for coming with you. That is what I'll advise him. Yes, this is time for payback. And as I have said, why not Lamin Cham for deputy speaker? Why not Al Conte for speaker? Why not Maimuna Sise for deputy speaker? No, honestly, these are the people who stood by him. These are the people who said, no, we will not be part of the original UDP. We'll go with you. So I'll advise him to be mindful of those people. Let him give them their due, especially those who are qualified. He shouldn't dump them for his newfound allies. That is immoral. This is my advice to him. So you mentioned Maimon Sisi we mentioned Al-Kali Konde. So like they said in Mandinka, those people, well, 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 because you move, you move call, political phone call, you know, reward them. You know. Come on, nominate. It's political reward them. It's rewarding somebody. You know, at, at least in this particular context, it's rewarding somebody. Because ordinarily, the nominated membership should be some other considerations. Just as I said on that day, look at the Christian, Christian community. Engage them. You have scores, scores of Christians, quite capable, quite competent, quite patriotic. The disabled. In fact, I had said that look, I know of I've now, I've known two or two, one or two disabled persons, very competent. For one of them is an auto. It would have been very ideal, very fantastic, to have him nominated as member of the National Assembly, appoint and get him and get him elected as member of the National Assembly will be doing will not only be entrusting that office to a very responsible person, to a very educated person, to a very informed person, but will also be making have been making history that Gambia has for the first time elected a visually impaired person as speaker of the National Assembly. Now if one can write books, physical visually impaired, you can write books. I mean, you can conduct the proceedings of NASA, absolutely. Those are the considerations that the, that the president ought to have taken into account. But then, if he does not take that, why then he wants to play, I mean, peace people politically, Bakar and uh, Sidinja are not the people. There are a lot of people in the ranks of NPP who we are UDP with him. Give them those positions. <laughs>